If I'm Liquid, I'm super happy with my draft. Tide owns a lot of these heroes. That so the brought team the fight spell is missing. Extra armor here on Quinn. He's getting frost armored plus divine favor. This invoker is not squishy at all, and you are now committing in. Still have the rolling thunder. Try it again. Cold snap, stopping him time and time again. Quinn keeps on Nisha's rebuking. Nisha's attempts to get aggressive. Nisha's a big time trouble. Turns around, gets off the shield crash. Now gets off the rolling thunder. He has the shield for a little bit. It's just a bit stronger. Maybe enough to be able to help get the kill onto Quinn, who goes invisible. Oh, a primal roar bounces over on Nisha, slowing him down. The axe has cut him down. Ace gets the first blood and looks for second. As yeah, he's going to get insane as well. That is push back there with the hurricane from celery he has been quite the nuisance with that neutral creep specifically now it feels like the next step for liquid is when are you going to be able to use your ravage and how successful because 33 is not having fun in this bottom lane he's been here before they yeah. were here yesterday they know the next step for gaming gladiators is getting the auras so they better find a team fight soon otherwise those team fights are just going to get harder and harder as they do manage to hit a good rolling thunder set up for the kill on tofu going to look for more as well celery being harassed here ace going to cut over though might be able to help out get a kill on a crystal main shield crash does manage to finish off the champ before the tornado comes in nice centaur stomp though the Vessel used on to the Pango. Have to drop the Ravage to try and bail Nisha out. It still may not be enough. Spider he has a shield crash. He has a swashbuckle. He's going to jump. And the Axe is not quite getting there, but he is running, running, running. Duraccio is chasing. A rock coming forward. More spiders. And Nisha is just going to die. There's nothing he can do about this anymore. Duraccio runs halfway across the map to chase down Nisha. It just didn't even work out. So the, the idea the panel had was this Tidehunter was going to be able to sit in front of these pushes coming in from Game of Gladiators. It is not protecting the any towers. Back on the first Ravage isn't working. Now Duraccio's tearing the Tidehunter a new one, man. The Kraken Shell doing nothing for you against the high damage of the Broodmother at this point. This time he's is supposed to be countered a bit, right? With the Pango and Monkey King, you have uh, some spells that can be thrown out to easily clear through spiders. 33. Crawling back, trying to get back to his tier two, gets met with three heroes from Gaming Gladiator. So, more souls for the vessel here, as Quinn will happily collect them. No lack of charges in this to stabilize the map. Group up, make something happen. And Quinn from bottom, TP's mid. And immediately goes for the gank on Foxy. Foxy trying to get to the invoker and trying to ghost walk away, but the sentry's already there in place. Okay. A three man gank does kill Duraccio, though. That Worth a lot of gold here early, almost a thousand. Sad though, Big A just got that kill and dies immediately. The Sun Strike will add the extra bit of damage required. No chance of escape for Mick That is not a super high damage Sun Strike, but the extra 200 is enough to push it over the edge. Use the Rolling Thunder to make sure they get this pick off as it appears. Now, there is no uh, ult here from... <laughs> He's just like, ah, sorry, bro, I can't even save you. I'm not even going to try. If I do stick around, Decent chance that I'm going to get killed by a tornado. Better spells in the fight. And he's not under a lot of pressure right now as Liquid just don't have the gap close to get on top of the invoker and start on him. Man, these cores have just been swarming the map. Xania pops a healing salve. It's a slow hero, though. I imagine they'll catch him eventually. The axes reveal his position. Not be the timing to hit high ground. Take a lane of barracks. Game and Gladiators do it in one. This will come in here. Or at least trying to. So fast right now. Liquid have not had a single break this entire game. They're going to lose this tier three at 18 minutes, potentially. Ace jumps forward, goes for the quick kill onto the Crystal Maiden with Primal Roar use. They have the strength to push forward with the, the drums beating Ace. Nobody can really get close to him for now, but maybe he's overextended himself. Blink in with the Rolling Thunder. Nisha gets stuck. That's not good. Roll up, goes back to the Beastmaster. 30 seconds left on the Aegis. They are all in committed to kill this Beastmaster. Can they get him twice, though? Go up Ravage. Fire and make it down to half HP. Hits the Ravage onto the Beastmaster. See if they can pop him. He gets off a round of axes. Waveform through it. Still all not quite enough. A boundless strike. A little more damage is required, but they've ran out. Liquid have nothing left in the tank. They will lose two of their cores. They will lose Elena Barracks, and they will lose the kill on the Beastmaster. Just his best at being able to hunt around the map. Twin going for the Boots of Travels for the extra bit of mobility, but it's not him who's going to find the opening. It's Ace. Got the Primal Roar killed for Nisha. 
Garaccio joins alongside to see if there's any other Liquid Heroes lurking about. I mean, this might be your best chance to win a fight in this game as opposed to the high ground. He's hopping around. Quinn sees him coming. Garaccio is going to stay alone inside the pit. Try and finish up the Roshan. And Liquid's going to be here too late. Age is already picked up. They're in position. This is not good. Liquid has no way out of this one, so they just have to commit. They're going to go for oh, Quinn here first. Hit him with the Rolling Thunder. Not too bad, but the with the gone. monkey gone, there goes much of their damage. They've thrown a Ravage and a Rolling Thunder and everything they have to be able to kill Quinn. They're struggling to get it. The pipe is keeping them alive. They run out of damage for the second time. And before the fight is even done, the fight is done in Liquid. They call it in game one. Well, the question of have they figured something priority, probably getting stacks, ET Techies, very abolish Nietzsche so hard this guy doesn't get to play the game. Yeah. That has happened a lot. So there's some some fate to be had there. And if the Zanky doesn't get to play the game, then you don't have anybody to stop this push that's gonna be coming from Gaming Gladiators, though a push from Liquid comes through to get first blood on seller. When there's an alchemist on board. Now this lane. Uh, last time around we had the situation where we were talking about how the off lane of Liquid was pretty passive. Now, in their draft, they opted for a killing duo. Uh, I was not thrilled to see Techies because, frankly, I think this hero got nerfed too much that I don't think it's as strong a laner. Holy cow, and Senior just beat down Topher. But they are already using that blast off with the facet to good extent here. Duraccio nice. is going to suicide kill. <laughs> Nicely done, holding on to the unstable concoction, and they get the kill on Boxy in return. Going back for some similar things here with the Monkey King, but a support duo that should be stronger in the early game. I think that's the upside of the techies here. Now the blast off. Again, this facet allowing extra damage combined with a Brewmaster who Man. is already one of the stronger laners when it comes to kills. Thanks. Bottom. Really want this techies to accelerate this game. That could be the strength of this pick here for Liquid, even if the hero's maybe not the strongest in the meta. Nisha, Burrow Strike away. Quinn's gonna chase after him though. So slow. And it, yeah, you, the build up movement speed slow is so obnoxious. Meanwhile, you're left in the same situation. Yeah, they're struggling out here. Both side lanes for gaming. Bomb land, celery. Soon to blow up. They're going to try and get the counter kill on Boxy with the acid spray. Unstable concoction. That is enough. That killed you. I almost wish he had an urn on this Brewmaster. Oh, Nisha. Another raise. Long range. And the raindrop is not enough. The buildup of Wait. damage. It definitely would have been a close call if maybe he gets off the Requiem. They're going to try again. Them both. <laughs> okay, they bring in Cena. They're like, we need more. We need four heroes to make sure that Quinn dies here, and he still gets off the Requiem. The deck Requiem goes out. It's not enough to kill Nisha. What do you think they learned there? They're learning a lot. I <laughs> think they've been learning a lot recently against Gaiman. Mickey, meanwhile, going to receive a similar gank here, but this time it's paired up with two cores as Quinn made his way across the map. Not that he was needed for the kill. It's something going. You just have such a good spell advantage right now, and these cores on Gaiman don't want to have to go to fights. It's going to be hard kill, but he doesn't have chemical rage. And it's possible if they hit the blast off the right time. Never mind, the Brewmaster is here. Tornado comes in, but they've already got the burn damage on. Cloud's going to be used, and they're going to use the Primal Split just to make sure that Duraccio is dead and maybe look for a little bit more. Meanwhile, Nisha holding their jungle with the Sandstorm. So Lick will go back for some stacks. Try and get this Blink on the Sand King, give them the initiation power. I like really that Boxy's the joining in on this because he needs the experience to be able to get to his level six, but it does leave uh, nobody up here with 33 who gets ganked by the Tofu Quinn duel. Kaya, what do you make of these different SF builds? I mean, we've seen some that just flat out just do not go, Yasha Kaya. Do you think it's necessary to always have that item? Ace, Boxy didn't have the right position for the blast off. Now that he's out here, though, they can still probably catch up to him with the Boundless Strike really helping things out. Leads to the Burrow Strike. They've got him. Oh, what? How did that happen? One troll versus four heroes, and somehow he nabs the last hit. Going for Liquid in the sense of they built this lineup to fight them early and often and take the five-man fights and defend the towers, and, like, it just hasn't been there. Boxy? There's another Boxy? poke that gets reactions out of Liquid and isn't actually a move, or is it? 
Nisha jumps forward, only hits the Burrow Strike on one. So how Tofu does not get landed by that one. And the uh, EMP pulls him oh, out. What a stomp. Nice stomp, though. That's going to sit up Mickey for the Wukong's command with the blast off on top of that one. Now the Game of Gladiator's core. Oh, there it is to jump in from the Requiem to try and blow up the Sand King as well as the plus one. They got him. And Mickey is fighting for his life against a horde of spiders and won't be able to do much there. Primal split plus a stomp. And Sania is going to make a run for it, but Duraccio and Ace will hunt him down. They all end on the supports, but it's the cores of Game and Gladiators who have come online and are ready to fight. And they're going to team wipe Liquid if they can find 33 here. They've got the vision no for the stun. No, they don't. No, they don't. Okay, well, he's still stuck in a corner here. He's going to make it cost Game and Gladiators as much time as possible. But surely. Could deny himself to Roche. Gonna try. The clap. The clap goes oh. out, and it's not. And right now you're in Roche. And now they're in Roche. Oh, they're like, should've, okay. Should have. Take Wisdom Rune on both sides. Liquid are very clearly set up. Yeah, there's a lot of vision here. Sentry Ob's trap for the Invoker. Should Gar grab him? Like there, into Blast Off, into Double Mind. Explosion will do the kill. Surprise me. Drop the Wukong's command there. And Shiva's being built by the Sand King. Actually, they have double drum on the side of Liquid. Got him on the glide here. Quick dispel, but they have the follow up with the stomp, the blast off, the burrow strike. There's no lacking in stunts for Liquid, that's for sure. Game of Gladiators, by the way, have, I believe, 10 wins in under 35 minutes at this event. I think Liquid are probably close to that, too, though, to be fair. Yeah, Quinn gets the timing perfectly, Ooh. man. Well set up. Tornado was... from Tofu. You don't need... They're a lot more confident to take these fights. Go look for plays. They have this ward in the corner. It is very well set up for them to go for another kill. Only Not just on Ace, but maybe Celery as well, as they're going to find that Burrow Strike. Lead open on the Brood Mother. The Blast Off follow up. Trying to get a Hurricane away, but he's still stomped. A mine goes off. Lightyear catches them. Found the Strike. They're stretching out, trying to get this kill. And they do manage to get it this time around, but Mickey is committed in so deep. One raise, two raise. Pops a BKB. Can he get the Life Seals off? Life Seal is not going to be good enough as a pure damage Sun Strike cuts through that. Now 33 on the run. Has a Primal Split. Are they going to try and turn this around? Is he going to have to use a Primal Split just to be able to escape here? Gaming Gladiators are going to force it out of him. And he'll use the Split. They can chase away. him here. They've got the Fire Panda. Okay, push up. Go to the gate eat. on all of the Pandas. Oh. The Earth One managed to make it through. <laughs> How far can he make it? Five more seconds. <laughs> what a next level play. He forced his own Earth Panda up the hill. And he spotted. Oh, after all that, I mean, it was a sick move. He'll buy more time, but a blink from Quinn puts him right on 33 as he went for the TP. And they'll finally catch him. That was kind of a sick escape, though. You need to start to build the damage here if you're Liquid to defend these towers. Quick pickoff the, attempt. A little pickoff here from Duraccio with his blink dagger reveal. Pretty tanky, man. There's no help. Yeah, no, nobody, nobody can punish. Uh, to rotate across the map here. Set up on something else. Easy pickings here with the Ghost Walk. Yeah, we need detection here. Boxy's just sitting under a Ghost Walk. He knows it. And there is Nisha nearby, but on the other side, Quinn. Man, dropped the Requiem on him. Yeah. Assuming that I guess there are more heroes around, which he between the wards and the spiders. So much vision from Game and Gladiators and Liquid. Probably right not to push into that jungle area. Game of Gladiators is going to push back into you, though. Nisha. Left him behind. He's going to break the smoke. He gets orchided. Now he has a shield rune. He's very tanky, but is he tanky enough to deal with a Requiem? An Axe Requiem at that? Not at all. No BKB Sand King. This fight is already on the back foot for Liquid. And Duranchio's going to force it. Mickey's forced to use his Wukong's command and hope that the Gleipnir can lock him in long enough. It is not. Now, can he find any room uh, to hop away? Or can it better force get out up to the high ground? The silence is wearing out. Good stomp from Insania. The four staffs might have just bailed them out here. But not everybody. Insania. Duraccio's just done a really great job of, like, these fights. They know they're won, and Duraccio always finds an extra hero. Going back for it. Chemical Rage. Oh, Duraccio pushed too far this time around. Just daring into the tier two like that, but they, they can't quite get the kill. Out. The four staff comes out again. Liquid baited into an idea that they can have the damage, but they just do not. And Game of Gladiators, oh, just Quinn. like that, have wiped you, maybe. 33, making a run. 
Oh, there's going to be another unstable concoction, another orc, and another round of spells. And that's a team wipe. Game and gladiators. Do you think anything else was going to happen? If they can do this. Anyway. It's a nice setup from Liquid. Maybe not expected, but... Fighters giving them a little bit of vision. Shivas goes out, Burrow Strike leading on to Ace. Blast off, following it up, but they're separating targets here as Mickey jumps in. What is he going to do with this one? Pops his BKB and starts backing away. And back Fight's away, retreat is death for Liquid. Death for at least one. Boxy's the first one down. Wukong's man goes out, Does and nothing. I assume we're hopping away from this one. Liquid trying to retreat, but got him on the Bloodthorn in unstable concoction. Drop for Requiem, no wait, gets tossed up in the air by the Storm Panda. Mick 8 will eventually get burned out though, and now back on solid ground. Quint drops that Requiem for the final touch in this team fight. Liquid. And stomp from Insania, but he'll be run down eventually by something. He tries to go for the neutral creep deny. It'll be three dead on the side of Liquid at the end of it. By the way, that's a uh, amp damage rune on the Shadow Fiend. So, okay. Have fun with that one. We're going to watch a hero disappear here. Oh, wait. No. A little off the mark there. It's okay. He's got a second one. That's true. That's true. Maybe they don't know. Well, I've got a refresher, guys. Alacrity catapult. Okay, is maybe off the tornado. Nope. Quinn's not going to go for it. And gets burned out. 33. Now they go for it. But it found the strike. Hit him with the burrow strike. Blast off. So many stuns. Can they do this? Her splitter cuts down the SF. Now for Duraccio. Duraccio with his BKB walking back. It's bashed up. They want Quinn. But Quinn already got out with the Ogre Seal totem and the BKB. He's out of the Wukong's command and Liquid. Do they dare to pursue? It's with so the front, scary to chase. They're trying to. There's still a Requiem up. Durante comes understand. back in, four staff up to the high ground. Nice play by Boxy. Gets the, the initiation out of Durantio without dying. That's a problem. Rave Pats is the missing one. Tier four down, throne exposed. Gaming Gladiators have every advantage you could possibly hope for to close out this game. They're gonna lead off. Trying to get it. No, oh, old. Oh, still got off the Requiem thanks to the BKB, despite that quick jump in from Nisha. The Burrow Strike hit at the same time as Quinn went in, but. Reset. With, all this, with 40k net worth lead. Mickey is gonna have Abyssal Blade, so. If he can get the jump on somebody with this Divine Rapier, maybe he can pop them. Force Staff trying to get him out of the way, no but 33. Old. Just no fire. Can't no let him get away. No buy. It's a four versus five now with an Aegis on Game of Gladiators on a 40,000 net worth lead and the throne at half HP. A jump onto Duraccio. Duraccio is forcing the attention of Liquid onto him. Mickey, when's he going to hit this bound? The strike goes for it, but got hit by the Requiem at the same time. Quinn's back up the full health and they'll chase after Insania for the dieback. Now it's two. Nisha. With a BKB, oh, bro gone. striking out of the base, but your throne is dead. Here or fate is just loaded to be okay with me. I'd like to 15 and 8 compared to 5 and 3. He's tripling up on him. A very rough start for the tiny action. I was yeah. This yeah, Nisha is... destroyed this matchup against other mid laners, but be there for the water rune for a bit of recovery. All right, that is Tofu gonna make a rotation needed. through the gate very early. Yeah, looking to punish 33 up far in the lane. Pull him back into the Shikuchi, get the bugs on him, and they have so much physical damage between this trio. Exactly what you want for this safe lane Shadow Queen. We saw Liquid do a lot of work with this hero earlier. Cannot underestimate how strong it is. He has some buffs to play behind him, not as much as he had in that game, but still Beastmaster can help him out, and they're going to get another one on Ace, so... or at least threaten it. You can shell the Weaver and, and push him in here. It's going to be up to Boxy. Get scanned to keep these two, Ace and Tofu, from overwhelming Mickey when the play comes. The Cogs goes out, Battery Soul pushes them back in. Not too bad, they get a kill before the Enigma even shows up. Still though, the Enigma is here with the Eidolons and Duraccio. Now the TP's coming in for the Rubik. Can he stop this telekinesis throwback? Good stun, one raise goes off, a second brings a hero low. That's gonna be Celery going down, and Duraccio limping across the jungle. Almost dying to the tower there. Cogs actually managed to nab Ace with the battery assault out. Duraccio's trying to help, but he cannot do anything to get Ace out of that sticky situation. 10 minute mark. Just costing Nisha a lot of time, and they're going to scout this huge set of stacks. Oh, Burrow Strike. Oh, barely off the mark there. This is not a stack you can afford to give up in this game if you're liquid. I don't think gaming have the best means of taking it. Yeah, Beastmaster is going to cut over. See if he can get any of these last hits. Nisha, he's going to run at him. Throws a nice toss avalanche with the axes to be able to cut down the Enigma, and Durachu is already at half. 
Oh, he just caught him in the river. Yeah, Boxy hit him with the cogs, knocks him up the cliff, but now the battery assault is on top of him. <laughs> Toss to finish him off and get the kill on Quinn. Liquid put the numbers together in the river. And uh, Game and Gladiators underestimating the power. And man, when that toss starts to add up, it feels good here. Liquid can continue to play around it. Almost got him with a blood grenade, but not quite. Boxy almost bursted by the singer. Stolen Burrow strength, though, will halt Quinn. He's Look running after one. him with the bugs on him, but a hook shot, a toss. Oh, it looked got some of that damage. Meanwhile, Misha, he's still got the bug on him as well. The Burrow Strike got a punch to the backside. Ace is able to finish him off, but Quinn is in deep. He managed to hit the Stinger, got another kill. Now on the run, Celery trying to cover him. Mickey, black hole on two. 33 the misses the Axis. Quinn comes back in with the Stinger and kills them both and stays alive. Beautiful stuff from the Sand King and 33 caught from behind by Duraccio free game for himself for the most part after that uh, first move from Gaming Gladiators failed. Okay, they're gonna they're try again, but Foxy there for the interception. Will this be enough though? Trying to get out the wreck, a vacuum goes off, he just cannot seem to get it off, and Celery won't die either. Outnumbered and outgunned again, Liquid just finding themselves on the back foot in all these little skirmishes as Gaming bring the numbers. It's five different parts of the map, you can see them all spread over the map, trying to just efficiently get to their next round of items. Liquid gonna group bottom off the smoke. Try to use the Sakuchi to start a good team fight. Got the roar on him. So they'll get the pickoff. And 33 has a little Rubik kill, take this tier two and deny the Roshan during this Beastmaster Ag period. Dodge of the cogs, covering the power room. Do manage to get that haste room, but it'll cost Foxy his life. It looks like is underneath the sandstorm with Tofu on the other side. They'll get the kill, now the chase. Duraccio closing in, has to blink away on Nisha, he does. Especially if you can find a support at the start and just get that free pickoff, make it into a 5 on 4, particularly before the Sand King starts to tank up, he's also susceptible, and Haste Rune on Nisha should open up some moves. They're seeing him blow up Ace, he's the Aura guy, he's gonna be able to get out the pipe match. Not the fastest kill, might still be able to run him down. The tree, it is enough, ever so barely. They do manage to get it, hook shot back in. Duraccio was trying to still force this one. Requiem goes out, that'll put him under fear. Unable to put some damage on a box, he tries to slip away through the clogs. Tofu is able to finish him off while Duraccio gets the armor toggle to stay alive. They don't want to walk into a black hole epicenter. Demon are continuing to defend this upper part of the map. Surround him. He doesn't know it. He throws out the axes. They ping where he's at. And Tofu spots him. Nope, blink. He, that blink was crucial. Otherwise, Duraccio might be able to catch up to him. He's going to turn around Primal Roar. See if he can kill Tofu. It's not good enough. And now Duraccio gets him in his clutches with the Orchid to pick off there. And now Boxy. Yeah, he's going to be pulled in by another Reality Rift. Telekinesis tries to save him. The Vessel's taking him. Duraccio diving into the Tier 3s. A Shukuchi just long down. Duraccio's crazy for this one. He's already half HP underneath Tier 3s, but Liquid are nowhere to be found right now. And Sania gets a good steal on the Burrow Strike. Smoke. Gaming are showing Heroes bottom and looking for somebody in the triangle. Has a decent chance of working Careful here. 33, yeah. Quick Burrow. Nisha can try and cover him with an avalanche, but 33 stuck. He knows it too. Almost caught the tiny on the tail end. Feel like they have to smoke to get something else out. They have one observer on the clock. Yeah, they showed some heroes up at top, so they think that they could do something in this mid area. I mean, they're correct. This Sand King Weaver cannot get to this fight. They are going to be fighting into an Aegis, but if they clump like this one, they get the hook shot onto the Dark Seer. First target, Orkin already going off. Primal War trying to follow it up in this Aura Damage Dealer. Nisha goes for the toss together. Avalanche, but they don't have the follow up damage to kill these guys. And now Mickey okay. gets grabbed by the Reality Rift Phantasm. Chaos Knight trying to get him away, trying to get off the Requiem. Vacuum interrupts that one. A second glimmer disappearing into the night, but now he's revealed. Now he's caught by the Burrow Strike. Nisha couldn't get him out. Tried to go for the toss. Now he's dead as well. Boxy's caught in it. Duraccio blinks forward, looking for more. Good steal from Insania with the Burrow Strike. Stalling up Duraccio. Otherwise, 33 might have been the third core killed in this. And Game of Gladiators are hitting high ground once again. Oh, this is a five Enigma just showing. Jump. If you're not willing to jump this, like, what are we doing here? They're afraid to jump him. Oh, man. They are truly mind screwed at this point in time. If they can't go for it, and by the time they go for it, yeah, it is a trap now. Vacuum, Cogs will keep them out of the way for a little bit. Try to hit the Reality Rift. Nisha gets the blink backwards before he's caught, but it's a second tier three down. Glyph. 
And of course, you don't have a Blink SF here. It's not like you could instant follow up with Requiem on some Roar. Yeah, it's just all about the Tiny. Find tossbacks or win the fight off the damage. Darts, you're looking for a solo play. This is ambitious. Yeah, well, I mean, with no work, it Primal Roar, turn around. Yeah, Tofu's gonna come in with a save, got the backup. So Jirachi knows all he has to do is just make sure that 33 can't retreat and the rest of his team will follow it up. And they're gonna try and go for the epicenter burst on Mickey at the same time. Boxy, can he do anything to stop this when he's trying with the battery saw? Tries to pull him away from Mickey. That Cogs may have just done it with the Glimmer Cape from Insania. They do manage to keep their carry alive. And Shield Rune, if he's the target, ah, uh, you don't see how he dies. Tofu gets a little information, knows that Liquid is outside of the map. They also One have a big wave pushing smoke. in mid. Nisha, he's going to try for it. Quinn starts the initiation. Trying to make himself the target, activating the units. And Nisha gets the toss into the wreck. We have tried to combo on to Ace. They go for the Primal Roar. So many ultimates being used to try and kill him. And there's the time lapse. They saved Ace. Now they've got the black hole on the SF. And they are going to demolish Liquid. Triple BKB does nothing for you when you are flat out, outgunned, outplayed. Four dead. GG is called.